Hi right, everybody, this is the Baseball Hut, the amazing, spectacular, terrific, the great one, the people's champion, your host of Hut, and welcome back to the Baseball Hut. Hope you like this video. We're going to have a, you know, a little segment about Pete Alonzo, the Mets' first baseman. We have some interesting news for you, I think. Uh, they The Mets kind of have a coaching staff in place. As you know, the Mets have a new manager, Carlos Mendoza. It has not been announced, but it's pretty obvious that they're going to hire John Gibbons. As a bench coach, a lot of people are very excited about it. A real positive uh, development, a former Met, a very popular Blue Jays manager for many years up in Toronto. They're going to bring back, unfortunately, against my own better judgment, uh, pitching coach Jeremy Hefner. They're bringing back Eric Chavez, the hitting coach. They're putting uh, Jeremy Barnes back as the co-hitting coach. Now we have a couple of new names here. Uh, Mark's, Mark, Mike, Mike Sarbach. He's going to be the third base coach. He was with the Guardians slash Indians for the last 10 years. And he's going to be working, I guess, with the infield. And he uh, was very important to Francisco Lindor when Lindor won two gold gloves. I would mention, and I, I don't know if I said this, Francisco Lindor should have won the gold glove in the National League, not, not Dansby Swanson. I don't know what the hell that was all about. And they're going to have coaching. Uh, the catching coach will be Glenn Sherlock who did a good job with Francisco Alvarez, and they're going to announce a new first base coach, Antoine Richardson. So we got a whole bunch of guys here coming in. I think they're going to announce a couple other other uh, the coaches, but I don't know who yet. And I'll have it in a video at some point. So a little update on Pete. Alonzo, the Mets' first baseman. He has one year left on his contract, so meaning he could play the final year with the Mets uh, without a contract. Going to free agency next year, and the Mets could sign him next year. Now, I now there's been so many rumors about trades, so many rumors that he's going to the Cubs, he's going to the Mariners. I did a video the other day on the on him going. Some somebody online thought of an interesting trade for, for going to the Twins. Now today on Thanksgiving, he was in New York, enjoying the parade with his wife. So he loves being here. So we know he's not a player that doesn't like being here. So it's not a matter of him wanting to be here. Okay. It seems like he wants to be here. It's just a matter of will the Mets meet his asking price. Now the word is and the rumor is it's a couple of things. And I have actually have information for you uh, in this video as well. And that is from John Heyman of the New York Post and MLB Network. He said that in his podcast the other day that the chance of Pete getting traded is probably about 10% or less. So I'm likely he's going to be on the Mets. But we're going to be hearing a lot of these rumors. I mean, we're going to hear these rumors until probably the trade deadline of next year. Now, I would mention, of course, if the Mets are a contending team, they're not going to be moving Pete. But if they're not a contending team, you know, going into June and July, you're going to hear a lot of rumors about him. To me, there's no reason to move him. There's, there's every reason to, to give him an extension. Now, he's going to be looking for big money. He was younger than Freddie Freeman when he became a free agent. He was, he's younger than Paul Goldschmidt uh, when he got his big contract with the Cardinals. So this is a guy that his and, – and he's a better player. I'm sorry for all you Braves scum. I mean, all you Braves fans out there, all you Braves fans out there, Pete's a better player and a better home run hitter than um, uh, Matt Olsen is. And uh, he's got more home runs since 2019 than any other player in Major League Baseball. He has more RBIs than any player in Major League Baseball. And that includes a 54 home run season by Matt Olson last year. And, of course, the 63 home runs by um, uh, Aaron Judge last year. So he is so far out in front. He's got a 17-home run lead on those guys. And, obviously, he's got more home runs than Kyle Schwarber. So he has been an enormous home run hitter, an enormous threat at the plate. Uh, and when we talk about Pete, we talk about players like Jimmy Fox, Ralph Kiner, Alba Pohlholz, Eddie Matthews in terms of prolific home run hitters. And we don't see that in today's game. We see guys that hit home runs and stuff like that. But when you're talking about sort of immortals, I mean, how many times do you hear about Ralph Kiner? The only time you hear about Ralph Kiner is all those years he was hitting home runs for the Pirates, and he's compared and he's compared to Babe Ruth in terms of home runs per bat. And Pete is there. When you hear names like Joe DiMaggio being thrown out there, when you compare Pete's home run numbers, that tells you how impressive his numbers are. 
So you're not going to get the kind of value that you think you're going to get for trading an all-star player of his caliber. You're never going to get that value. This past season, this past season, we saw um, the last player that was traded from the Cardinals to the Diamondbacks in the Paul Goldschmidt uh, deal, and he was DFA'd. It doesn't matter what his name was, but those players didn't amount to anything. None of them came out to be anything. You know, first baseman is not a premium position. It's not shortstop. So you're never going to get the value that you're going to want to get for a guy that's going to hit 45 home runs every year. He's probably the, he is the greatest home run hitter in Mets history. He's probably going to shatter Daryl Strawberry's record. He's going to probably break the RBI record here. He's got so many home run records here. So there's no, to me, there's no reason to move him. But the chances of him getting moved, I think, aren't very high. Um, we're going to hear a lot of rumors. I'm going to keep doing videos on Pete. So you want to subscribe to this channel, and you'll get all the kind of uh, videos you could possibly get on Pete Alonzo. He's one of my favorite all-time Mets. And he, he is a good guy. He's not a toxic individual like uh, Spaz the Salicata said on his radio program back in the summer. Don't believe, the, don't believe that nonsense. So let me know what you think about this video. Of course, please hit the subscribe button. I want to get to 5,000 subs. It's going to be awfully tough with five weeks left in the seat of the year. But we're going to get a lot of subs here. We want to, bring in, we want to grow this channel. The channel's been growing. And I, I thank you for watching. Have a good day, and I'll see you later.